Hi, in the previous video, we learned to train an AutoML model in Vertex AI. In this video, we'll see how we can deploy this model so it can be used through REST API calls. When you develop a model, you will typically need to serve the model by enabling it to accept an input payload sent in an API request. That's what we'll do here. First, make sure you are in the correct project and go to the Vertex AI service. Let's recap what we've done so far. We created the Vertex AI dataset and then trained an AutoML model on that data. Now we will learn how we can deploy our model. Go to the endpoints and click Create Endpoint. Give your endpoint a name and choose Standard Endpoint Type. When serving a model, there's two options for an endpoint. A public endpoint or a private endpoint. The decision depends on how you want users to access the model predictions. For example, if you're providing an ML service to developers, you might need to expose the model through a public endpoint where users can make API calls directly. On the other hand, if you're only using the model to power a product feature, only the backend needs access to the model. Users don't need to call it. Then you can make it private and only give the required backend services access through a virtual private cloud. Next, add the model you train to the endpoint. Note the traffic split option. An endpoint can host multiple models. For example, if you need to run an AV experiment or want to roll out a new model slowly, similar to a canary deployment, you can split traffic between models using this option. Since we only have one model, we'll set it to 100. The deploy will take a few minutes. Underneath, this endpoint is served through a load balancer meaning that it can scale up to serving large number of requests per second using multiple compute instances behind the scenes. Each endpoint can have a resource pool, which can take in various specifications of physical compute needs. If you deploy the endpoint through the Vertex AI Python SDK, as opposed to using the console like here, then you'll have the option to specify minimum maximum capacities types of instances and hardware accelerators such as GPUs that you want to use. Once the model is deployed, you'll see the status turning green and saying active. If you go in, you can see the model is deployed within the endpoint. You can go in and have a look at the format of the sample request you need to send in order for the model to make a prediction. Now you can use this model to send an API request. You can go in and have a look at the format of a sample request you need to send. Vertex AI also provides a nice little playground for you to quickly send requests and make sure things work. You can access this through the Deploy and Test tab. Here, we'll copy the payload and modify it to reflect some real data. You can see that we are getting reasonable predictions. Let's also make an HTTP request to make sure we can access this endpoint from outside. We'll use PowerShell and use curl to make a request. In order to make the request, you'll need the endpoint ID and the project ID. Note that I'm using a Linux environment within PowerShell. You can access it by typing bash and pressing enter. You should see the word base appearing before the prompt. 
Great, we're getting valid outputs from our model. You can also see the actual requests per second in this nifty graph shown in the endpoint dashboard. That's it for deploying a model. In the next video, we'll wrap up and clean up the resources we created during this project.